Hello and welcome to Bridgewater and Taunton College. My name is Charity and I'm one of the school liaison officers. We can't wait to welcome our new and existing students back to us in the autumn term. But many of you will be wondering what changes have been made in the college. So we're going to take you on a short journey, a short video to show you the changes that have been made, hopefully to answer any questions you may have. If after watching you still have questions that you need answers to, please don't hesitate to contact us via Facebook or drop us an email message. Health and safety is of paramount importance to us. We are regularly reviewing and following government guidelines. When you first start college, you will be given from your tutor a lanyard and we would ask you to wear that lanyard every time you are invited to come onto the college premises. So I talked about some changes at BTC. Today I'm here at the Bridgewater campus, but similar changes will have been made at the Taunton and Cannington campuses too. So let me take you inside and show you what's new. Across our three campuses, you will see areas have been divided into coloured areas for student safety. We would ask students to remain within these coloured areas to help them stay within their bubbles and to maintain social distancing. Students will see new start signage across college to encourage you in corridors to stay and walk on the left hand side. If you're using the staircases, again, it's a keep left rule, but we would ask you to walk slowly, not to overtake, but to walk quickly to your destination. Hand sanitising stations will be found throughout the campuses and we would encourage students when they see them to use them. will be required to wear a face covering when attending any of the college's campuses. Face coverings are to be worn in corridors and communal areas but can be removed once inside your classroom or workshop. Please ensure you store it in a sealable plastic bag when not in use. It might also be handy to ensure you have a spare face covering with you. Some people might be exempt from wearing a mask or face covering. If you believe you are exempt, please discuss this with your personal tutor and we will provide you with an exemption badge. For more information about exemption, please look at the government guidance on face coverings, when to wear one, exemptions and how to make your own. You can find a link to this on our website. Don't forget, when wearing your face covering, it should be covering your nose and mouth, be well fitted and secure. All our buildings are cleaned daily, with extra cleans throughout the day for key touch point areas. Classrooms will have appropriate cleaning materials available so that desks and equipment are cleaned between uses. And our teachers, teachers will be socially distanced from our students. For the foreseeable future, students will experience a blended learning approach to their learning. And this means a mixture of working online at home and attending college. The online learning at home will be supported by a software programme such as Teams and we will give students access to this at no cost when they enrol with BTC. As guidelines change we will adapt our plans and students will be invited to spend more time on campus but only when safe to do so. We have reviewed the use of our catering outlets and the time in a breaks, so student break time will be staggered. We will also be opening designated classrooms to students to eat from, so there's plenty of space for everyone. Thank you for watching today. We're
we're really looking forward to welcoming our new students and our returning students to the college in the autumn term. But don't forget, if you have applied, please accept your offer, get your enrolment done online, and then we'll be ready to welcome you in September. Goodbye.